thoughts? I mean, just, just general overall season to date, playing as well as you, you want to, thought you could, not as well? Yeah, th there's times that we were playing very well. Uh, there was games we played very well, uh, and there were games we didn't <laughs> play well. So we're still inconsistent. Uh, we need an inside game needs to continue to get better. We're not getting a lot of scoring from that right now. And uh, we've got to take some pressure off our guards because we're really moving on out a little bit now because of the inside. And uh, once, you know, we got to keep getting better. It, the season's early. Uh, we have a lot of tough games coming up, including against Texas on Sunday. So we'll see where we're at. With that third year, in past years, you've had one point guard or one person you've depended on for scoring or whatever. This year, if one of those players at that position isn't playing great, you've had options to go to. Has that been the biggest difference for you so far? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the, the other day, I didn't. Uh, Kansas, our last game was getting into the paint too easy. and. Uh, you know, our fives weren't doing a good job, and we moved Kari there. And she had like seven, eight broad shots, and they quit going in the paint. And uh, we can do the same thing on the perimeter, and, and it's really been a big advantage for us. You know, last couple years, because of injuries, uh, we had to put up with it. You know, this year we've done it, and we have players. Everybody wants to play a lot of minutes. So go in there and play hard, and you get to play more minutes. And if you don't, we have other people we can put in. You mentioned Kari at the start of the year. You said, hey, I want to give her some experience at the four, yeah. away from the basket, help develop her game. Is there any concern about you know, her jumping back and forth or how has she responded to switching around? No, it's funny. Kari doing the game, if the fives are hurting us, she'll look at me and say, let me have her. Let me have her. <laughs> I mean, Kari wants that challenge. But then I, a lot of times I'll say, no, you just play the four. <laughs> Worry about your man. But uh, against Kansas, I went ahead and let him have her, her and let her do it. But uh, – no, I just, Kari got to get confidence in her jump shot. Kari's biggest problem right now is she misses one or two. She don't want to shoot them. Well, you got to keep shooting her. You're open, shoot them. You're a good shooter. You're not going to make every shot. Keep shooting. I won't say a word to you, but you got to take that shot because when you don't, you force it then or you have a turnover or you take a bad shot. So she has to continue to take the open shots. What do you make of Texas? I mean, they beat Stanford, mm -hmm. but then they turn around and uh, you know, maybe lose a game that, you know, probably wouldn't look like they should have lost to. Uh, you know, they've got, you know, Joyner Holmes is obviously one of the mm -hmm. better players in the league, but it's just, it seems like they've kind of had an, an odd season to this point. I hope they have a, another <laughs> odd season on Sunday, to be honest with you. But uh, I've been watching tape on them. They're playing better. They're playing with more energy. Uh, the Higgs girl didn't play, got hurt. Right. She's playing better. She's getting used to playing again and you know, set out last year. So, you know, they're a very good team. They're very big, very strong, physical. They have athletes out on the perimeter, and we're going to have to defend them. And what makes them a little bit tougher is their four and five always yeah. pop for threes. Even their five does. So uh, we're going to have to defend that. We're going to have to come up with a couple of things where we're not leaving them. Tynese, in terms of it, she wasn't there the first month or two, it took her a little while to get maybe going. Is she, is she back in full form yet? Where is she? I'll tell you what, I saw her on uh, against Kansas. We isolated her a couple times and that, and I saw the old Tynese. She jabbed when she was up in the air. That girl didn't even have a clue. <laughs> she, she went up in the air. So I saw the quickness and the jab and that type of stuff. So that was great to see. Uh, yeah, she's going to be fine. I think Kari's playing well. Madison's playing well. Uh, uh, Kaiser playing well. Uh, we just need to get our fives to play a little bit better. They're playing hard, we just, and we're, we're probably not doing a great job getting them the ball. So we got to do a better job of that and get some scoring from the paint. Coach, I think he's talked about that some of his team passing. Two of the problems, number one, just off target passes. Mm -hmm. Two, making bad decisions when they do decide to throw it, pass it, it shouldn't be thrown at all. One or the other stand out more to you for what you've seen? So well, I, I agree 100%. <laughs> I, I've never had a team in all my years that didn't do the same thing. So it, it's something that you deal with there. You know, it's one thing to set up a good play, but you got to have somebody pass the ball. And if you don't have somebody pass the ball away from the defense, then it, then it looks like a bad play. Uh, and also you got to have somebody who's going to receive the ball and, and keep them sealed off. But uh, yeah, it's all about that. It's all about making good decisions, good passes. Uh, 
you know, especially if somebody's overplaying, you're going to have to read that. And they, I'd love to go inside a little bit more, get them in foul trouble. They're two big girls, so uh, even if we have to invert some and do some other things, we're going to try to do that. Obviously, uh, kind of going off track here, I mean, Baylor makes a huge statement yesterday about beating yeah. UConn. Could this equally kind of be a statement game for, for you guys if you're you know, able to knock off Texas and it keeps you right there in the, you know. Yeah, the I, you know. Yeah, it's early. I mean, right. even if we win it, it's not like, oh boy, we're here, we've robbed. Uh, I don't think that. And, and if we lose it, I don't think we're out of anything. I just think this is an important game. Yeah. It's at home. We need to take care of home. Yeah. We need to do what we need. You got to win your games at home. You got to win your games at home and, try, and hope to split on the road, is the way I look at it. And if you do that, you're fine. So much attention to the young, older players, but younger ones in terms of you know, your freshman KK, some of those, what do you think? Yeah, KK. Uh, I, I love my freshman KK. Rochelle Norris is going to be good, redshirt freshman KK. Esmer, love her. Her upside is unbelievable. I think she hit a wall a little bit right now, but uh, I'm going to try to get her out of it this next two <laughs> days of practice because we need her to play. We need her to play because she can run the floor, she can shoot it, she can rebound very well. So we need her to step up her game and start playing a little bit better. KK been what you thought she was going to be? Yeah, KK's like Kari was last year. You just got to calm her down a little bit. KK's so physical and just wants to run over everybody. And, and I'd rather have players like that than try to get them to play hard. So biggest thing with her, I just keep telling her, calm down, calm down. Quit fouling, quit knocking people down and act like you didn't foul them, you fouled them and uh, just play within the system. And, but she plays extremely hard. I'm very pleased with that. Coach, usually it seems like you have Tynese or Kaiser kind of facing the team and scoring. Um, when you have that younger backcourt with KK and all them, how, how does that kind of rub off, do you think? Or has it? Well, I think really, even though Kaiser and Tynese, our players look for them, but they're very excited when KK is scoring and Kari is scoring. We need to be more balanced in scoring, and that's why I like to see our fives, you know, be able to score a little bit, make us more balanced where they just can't set up on our two guards there. And then Madison uh, against uh, Kansas State was shooting the ball very well and scoring. So it, it, we're a lot better team when everybody's, uh, you know, scoring. As Mario was a player, you were talking up quite a bit earlier. Now, now you're two games in the Big 12 play. How do you make her play so far? Yeah, she's doing fine for a freshman. I, I just know she can play better. Mm. And, and, you know, I, I think, I, I don't know if she hit the wall a little bit. You know how freshmen hit the wall a little bit, just wore out. I think she needs to be on a routine. I'll be so glad when the classes start. Uh, they start Monday. Thank Monday. God. I say it to the girls and they don't want to hear it. But I, we need, you need to get on a routine. Uh, people need to be on a routine. Our team needs to be on a routine and uh, be consistent in that. And I think Esmeri needs that also. So that winter break, does that kind of contribute to a slump maybe in general? No. I don't know. You lay around a lot more. I mean, you know, you like the other day, we didn't play till seven. So what do you do? You go to shoot around. What do you do the other hours before the game? Uh, you know, and then you're on that five day swing and that you try to come up with stuff to do with them but they, they're laying around a lot and, and I you just can't be laying around a lot and that's why I'm glad when school starts on Monday and, and now they have to go to weights they have to go to study hall they have to go to classes they have to go to practice and that they're on a routine and I, I just think people uh, perform better when they're on a routine and consistent. I think she could be a wild card for you down the road. Esmer? Yeah. Absolutely. She's a, that's a, now, stats-wise, you yeah. look at it and you think, well, I'm crazy. But I'll tell you what, I've seen her in practice now. She, she can play. And, and, and communication's a little bit tough for her. You know, a lot of times I'll tell her in the game trying to make adjustments, and she says she understands, but I know dang well she doesn't understand. <laughs> yeah. And probably for the yeah. good for her. But uh, uh, once she gets used to everything and that, she's got a chance to be really, really good. Maybe help carry Kari a little bit inside. Yeah, I think yeah. so. I mean, I think she can. When we move uh, Kari to the five, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we need Esmeri to step up. Yeah. We need her to step up. And uh, she was early. And, and then I just, like I said, I don't know if we're doing more right now or whatever. Uh, but her upside's unbelievable. And I think she will. Because we're, we're going to push her now. We're going to push her a little bit. You know, I was nicey, nice with her. <laughs> 
okay. here in the beginning. But now, oh, yeah, that. now yeah. it's getting real. So with all of them, we, we, we've got to start pushing them and start demanding a little bit more and, and for us to win some games going down the stretch.